Hey, board gamers, BJ from Board Game Gumbo here, back in the Gumbo Pot, this time taking a look at Disney's Sorcerer Arena Epic Alliances, the brand new expansion called Leading the Charge. It features three new characters. Let's get right to the table and see what's inside. All right, Disney Sources Arena, Epic Alliances, Leading the Charge is a small box expansion for their very popular game. This is designed by the OP, the Op, and it's, it's a skirmish game, so if you've played Unmatched or Warhammer Underworlds or any of those kind of games, you'll recognize how it's played. Let's see what's inside the box. Uh, you, as you, some people may know, Disney Sources Arena started out as an app on your phone, and you can uh, download the app right from here. They've got a Handy dandy little QR code, little advertisement. They've got the expansion book. This is an expansion, so you're gonna have to have the base game to play. Uh, and usually, at least the other expansion I had, does add a couple of tweaks to the game, so let's see what it is. It's an expansion, you must have the core set to play. It introduces three new characters. We've got Elsa from Frozen, we've got Buzz Lightyear, and of course we've got Scar from The Lion King. Uh, you can use any of the rules from the original set, but it is a new mechanic and one new status effect not seen in the original core set. So we're going to take a look at constant abilities and the invulnerable status effect uh, as we go through these box. This is the other two expansions. Check out, we have a video for Thrills and Chills. I don't actually own Turning the Tide yet, but I am going to pick it up at some point. So, new status effect is invulnerable. Uh, when a damage would be dealt to this character, prevent that damage. That makes sense. And when the damage is prevented, you remove it. And status tokens, as we'll show, that's those little um, shield-looking things that go onto a character when they can earn them, and then it makes them invulnerable to damage the next round. Constant abilities, that's basically round from round. These are shown in the bottom right portion of the ability card below the skills. They're always in effect when the character's in the arena, including during your other character's turns and during rival summoner's turns. So that's it. You'll have an effect that's always going to be happening as long as they're in the arena. This shows you a nice little graphic of all the different components that we're going to be taking a look at in just a second. And let's see what the cardboard says. We've got the new character for Scar. We've got some, we've got some blank uh, status effects. They can replace or represent any additional status effect tiles you may need during the game. Okay, so if you have a bunch of characters now that can earn a bunch of status effects and you only have one or two of them left, you've got some replacements that you can use. We also have our first look at the invulnerable status effect, All right? And then we've got two, another set of cardboard here. We've got another character. We've got our friend Elsa from Frozen. Uh, big thrill was whenever I got to take my little grand bugs to uh, Disney and we rode the Frozen ride over and over because they really enjoyed it. It's super well done. It's the old Norway ride, uh, but they've so you're, if you've ridden the Norway ride, you'll recognize it as you go through the attraction, but it's amped up. It's fantastic. There's the, immo this, the immobilized one. So basically, a <laughs> little gum on the shoe showing that the character can't move. So the status effect. And we've got our old friend Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, the Toy Story franchise. Uh, so they, it looks like Scar and Buzz each have eight health. And then uh, Elsa has nine. In the terms of status order, it looks like Buzz is going to be the fastest at 35, and then 60 for Scar and 70 for Elsa. Let's see what else is in the box. Now, if you know anything about the op, their skirmish games come with, um, because of the artwork, their skirmish games come with acrylic. And I'm really getting to like the acrylic. I saw it in the Marvel. The Marvel game that we uh, played the other night. For games that have any kind of comic book art style like this, it just seems like it pops off the page. Now, for those of you just picking up the game, the, the acrylic, um, whenever they sell acrylic, they always have a, a, a piece of clear plastic that's over them to protect them. So even though it looks dull probably on the camera, they really are sharp. We just have to peel that back. But these are the three status styles, the health dials for the three different characters. One of my complaints about the game is that the type face is so small, it is just really hard to see which one's which. Eventually you get used to the, to the characters, like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Scar. Uh, this is gonna be Frozen, of course, so that'll be, that'll be Elsa right there. 
and of course it's spaceship looking thing so that'll be buzz and then remember we these are not going to show off on camera because we have this thing that we have to peel back and it is it is a little tricky to get these off but once they do they'll pop off that's the standee for buzz and the standee for elsa that's the see frozen and then a uh, scar all right so last but not least we're going to have some cards and we're going to have the big character cards. So we'll pop those first. The character cards, three flavors, Elsa, some great artwork, and Scar, and Buzz Lightyear. And as you can see, they're double-sided. At some point, you're gonna be able to flip the, the characters over when you wanna upgrade them to get the better powers. So you'll be, you'll be looking for that during the game. And this shows you in this little left-hand corner, shows you what it takes to upgrade them. And you, if you can, you want to upgrade at least one of your characters. And then last, but certainly not least, the card play. Each character is going to have a deck of cards. Each character is going to have a deck of cards with their icon in the upper left hand corner. These are the ones for the Elsa deck. They have artwork that you're going to recognize from the different scenes in the movies. They also usually they have names that replay to it, like uh, that, that, that play into it, like the unknown, of course. Only Atohala knows. I recognize the reference, but I can't recall what it is. The water knock, uh, ice magic. And each one of these are going to have simple explanations on there about what their, what their uh, power is going to be when you play that card. And it also has simple symbology, like this one is an instant, basically. All right, so that is, that is the Elsa the Frozen one. And then we've got Buzz Lightyear. Let's see if we can get some highlights of what Buzz does. Um, we're going to recognize a lot of these names, I'm sure. I've seen these movies a million times. Galactic Punch. Laser Blast. That's the thing when he shoots out of his arm. That's this right here. Laser Blast. It's right out of the movie. And Spinning Wing Kick. I like that where the wing comes out and he spins around. It'll deal one damage to each adjacent rival and move each adjacent rival up to one space. Nice. To infinity and beyond, that's the card I was looking for. You knew there was gonna be something like that in this set. Choose one adjacent ally, then move up to three spaces. You may move that ally to an unoccupied space adjacent to Buzz Lightyear. That sounds like a pretty cool card. All right, so that's inside the box of the brand new expansion for Disney's Sorcerer's Arena Epic Alliances. It's the leading the charge expansion. We got three new characters, can't wait to play them. We're gonna be out at some game stores. Uh, you'll see people from Envoy, all the Envoy Heralds at game stores all over the country coming up the weekend of April 1st, so check that out. Till next time, laissez les bon temps rouler.